birth for you? Uh, it's kind of like a half birthday. <laughs> um, not, not really. I'm actually pretty accustomed to it. Um, my wife asked what I want for dinner, and fortunately we got recruits in town, so dinner's get a little bit nicer when they're in. And uh, just move on. We're working the game. How did the diet go this month? I had Joe Fazio finished it. He did stick with it, so he wanted me to ask you how it went. It was great. It was great. I'm, I'm interested to see him whenever I can. Ask him how he felt and see how accomplished he feels. But um, I've been, when you've been doing it this long, you kind of just kind of grow accustomed to it. Um, didn't lose as much weight as I usually do, but I think that's maybe because I'm getting older. Weight's probably a little harder to lose as you get older. <laughs> Got a few more gray hairs to, to add to that. So. He lost 21 pounds. But anyway, go. How did the uh, social media aspect of it go? Honestly, it was it was, uh, it was a fair amount of relief. Um, when you win one game, you probably don't want to see a whole lot of it anyway. Uh, and then, honestly, I was kind of overwhelmed when I got back on it this morning. The notification was fairly annoying, um, so I really hadn't been on it a ton. But you know, we'll see. I'll, I'll be a, I'll be a little bit modified part of it now. Obviously, you didn't win, but to see the way the team bounced back on Saturday against really maybe the hottest team in the country entering Wednesday's game. What, what were your feelings after the game? Well, I was extremely you know, happy for the kids. I was disappointed. Because we had chances to win. And ultimately, I always want to win no matter what the situation is. But certainly looking at their numbers in the five games prior to ours coming in, they were shooting 51% from three. And their average margin of victory was only 12 teams. It was like 26. Do you think, especially coming off the way they played on Saturday, yeah, if we, don't, if we get off to the start, we got off of K-State, it could be really ugly. Uh, but we challenged our guys to compete the right way, and they did. They responded, and I'm glad to see that, and hopefully that continues to carry over the next week. How did you feel to see D out there handling the pressure of facing a team like Texas Tech, especially in overtime? I was happy for him. I mean, you know, I you don't know he's going to be able to be wide open and have the ball come to him the first time and make a shot, but I mean, you put the kid in, and I expect him to – to feel like he's ready. You know, if, if I didn't think he was capable of it, I wouldn't put him out there. Uh, like I said, he's, he's been getting better. I've tried to find ways to get him on the court uh, prior to that game, and it came up and he was, he was ready, he was confident, and I'm glad it worked out for him. I said that he didn't really want to call the guys the walk-ons. He just refers to him as his teammates. Now, have you seen kind of that mentality of them all together now? Yeah, yeah. And in, in fact, we, we probably in the last 10 days or so, we've just kind of incorporated the team together. It's no longer a scout team. Um, because as we've seen now, the situations could vary. Um, you know, the other day was Dean Mitchell's opportunity. It could be somebody else tomorrow. And uh, I want them all to be prepared to go out there and have some